Why should I swing it like that? Come on. Because in fact, for me, it might not attract. Come on. This, well, you can do it best. Sound drops is not what they do. I agree. And there are a lot of drunk people who call into free talk. That's very strange. I think they're trying to escape reality. Probably. Because these are the they're they know the truth. The truth is that, you know, big big brother is out to stick it to us. No, there are a bunch of people that that's, that's depressing. Listen to the show that have absolutely no clue what the hell's going on. Yeah. They stumble across it because they were listening to Sean Hannity, and then oh well, here's this other show. And it is kind of a, it's not a late night show, but it you know goes into ten o'clock. So I mean, right. it's people get back from work, and yeah, I have noticed that. So anyway, yeah, why have I noticed that? Am I listening to Free Talk Live? No, I'm on the Tuesday shows, and I've been on for uh, a little more than a month now. Yeah, congrats. Uh, I'm getting a, I'm getting a little better. I'm getting a little more. Uh, I haven't cr- I haven't cursed on la- on air yet good good yeah, though, that, that's always good even though we do that on this show and i need to create a disclaimer for uh, for this show uh, yeah stating that we are we have a uh, foul sense of humor and uh we're likely to swear on air so i'm looking at your walls trying to figure out what the new stuff is since i was in here last because it's been a couple months since i've been in your studio mm-hmm uh, so it looks like you've added a Katniss Everdeen. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, however, does not have a bow and arrow. No, I, I don't have enough room for the bow and arrow. Uh, you moved Sam Adams over to the other wall. Yeah, he's covering up my uh, Gadsden flag a little much. I wish she was a little smaller, but hey, I can still see my snake head, and he's going after the, the pot leaves there. Uh, you've got, like, Ben Stiller over here for some weird reason yeah he's covered up by the couch uh you've got way too many ninja turtles Uh, you can't have enough ninja turtles dude you've got two sets of them that's too many okay well maybe i'll cover it well this is no this is traditional this is we grew up with ninja turtles this is that new crap okay so get rid of the new i'll I'll, uh i'll go through my stack of stuff because i got a stack i need to go through and cut up and maybe i'll cover something up I actually didn't add anything this this month. Sorry. Hold on, there, there's stuff that I've never seen before, like the Expendables thing. Well, you never look around. It was here. Yeah, I do. X Men. You didn't have X Men before. It was here. Uh, well, what about this cat with the bandage on his head? Like, is that some sort of social commentary about Daryl having concussions? It's not a tumor. No, it isn't actually. All right, so. You're doing something tonight. We're doing. We're here early in the day. What are we going to talk about, Daryl? Uh, well, there there were several things in the uh, notes, and you know what? Let's go ahead and do caption this, and then I can tell the story about why we have the photo that we have. Okay, so caption this it's a fun little project I've been doing every month. Uh, this one in, in, entails the uh, the penguin. It's Daryl, of course, with his uh, his bike penguin helmet on. Yes. And uh, so caption this, what did you guys come up with? It got a lot of likes on this picture, but no one really participated. Hold on. You had this in like two other places, and yeah, you've got a, there's a couple, comments. There's a couple more. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll do these ones first. Uh, so anyways, it's if you're for the listeners, it's Dar- I, it's Daryl. He's got his bike slung over his back. And he's looking real. He's looking real stoic. He's looking real. You know, he's got he's got a mission, and uh, that's what I was really going for. You know that that's actually a very good Photoshop that you did. <laughs> well, I'm I'm getting better. Because no, so scroll back up a little bit. That way, the viewers like you can't really tell that that's my face put on somebody else. It's like wow, Daryl lost a lot of weight. It's a and little... I've not lost that much weight. There. The, I intentionally left your head a little bit bigger. I probably could have shrunk it down a little bit, uh, but it's kind of. I wanted it to be a little bit comic, and the right. Po- but and of some people the, just have bigger heads than yeah, I, what I, they should. People might not have noticed. They might have just seen it and been like, "Yeah, Daryl with a penguin helmet. That's pretty cool." And he's he's looking all thin. Yeah. So there's your goal, right? Uh, somewhere around there. Yeah. 
So I, I'm actually down about 70 pounds since the end of February. Cool. Yeah, I like to hear that. Actually, no, 70 pounds since mid-March, 78 since the end of February. Man, that'll keep you cooler. Ain't nothing cooler than pe- getting, them ins- getting the insulation off. First caption this is from Pat. He says, come do a triathlon, they said. It'll be fun, they said. And someone's eating this bike, I say. <laughs> And, of course, you're going to tell us the story yes. of the triathlon. Uh, Pat, of course, already knows. I like this one. Kenny says, Putin? Never heard of her. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Which uh, I think is a play on the famous Putin on the back of a horse uh, picture. You familiar with that one? Well, and then there's also the thing. I, I forget who the initial person was, but somebody was like, uh, you know, Schwarzenegger, never heard of her. Yeah. So insulting the other well, they sort always, of manly guy. Yeah, they was but they always got Putin off, off chopping wood or whatever, and doing ri- some manly riding thing. on the back of bears. Oh, that's a Photoshop. Of course, they take the, the the famous Putin on the horse and they Photoshop him on top of everything now on unicorns, on the back of bears, on the back of hummingbirds. Yeah, it's good stuff. Megalodon. Shauna chimes in. Daryl Debra Perry shows another instance in which he is more FPP.cc candidate for president than Gary Johnson ever was, although it's really about time Daryl stopped picking on him. <laughs> and I, I, did, I didn't really get the, the, uh, the background to that. She says that he, he's a biker, or he was in some kind of biking uh, race or something, and he did an interview or some crap. Uh, I think he's done like an Ironman, and uh, he's climbed a bunch of mountains. He climbed Everest. Apparently, mm-hmm. so I mean, and that makes good sense. I mean, if you're gonna be running for president, uh, you, you kind of need to get your your biker face on. So I mean, you're going in the right direction. Yeah. All right, where where we at? Where are we at? Okay, here's the other uh, location. Uh, let's see, Mark Daryl W. Perry for president 216, 2016, which is all right. That's good. But then he comes back with another one. He's got nothing on these nuts. <laughs> Lance Armstrong, of course, being the... the he's bike. only got one ball. He's only got... Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> even with one ball, he's done something that neither one of us have. He did a lot of drugs. Cheryl Crow? I don't... Yeah, whatever. Uh, the Probably the best one so far, and it's already he's already got my vote. Joe chimes in, not a bike. You have to carry it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Which is a play on, of course, Daryl's... Uh, not a bus mode of transportation is not a bus um it's not not a bus bus. yeah ed chimes in yeah she just gives you some support doesn't doesn't have an actual uh caption this ken chimes in with his uh he's getting people getting serious he's like it is comma not comma a challenge so very uh very serious one there and he's got a picture and that could be he actually memified it yeah he memified it good is that a word, memify? I think you just made it one. Nice. Actually, uh, whatever you do, don't have this conversation with um, Ian and Mark at the same time because I think we spent about 25 minutes talking about it in free talk about what the hell is a meme and is it different than it was two years ago. And it is. Oh, right. It, it like, really, what, it, what's the difference? Yeah, there, like there, was, there was somebody that took a picture of Mark it, it, and had the words, what's the difference between a meme and a picture with words on it? That's probably from that conversation that we had, because I was, because I, yeah, I, my homework, homework that night was to take a picture of uh, Mark with his crown on, and, okay. just, and just go to town on it, because that picture with Mark on a crown on it is kind of a meme, right? If you can figure out what the, you know, as soon as you figure out what the, um, uh, well, the backstory, the backstory, the purpose. Exactly. The, the message, the common theme. Yeah, it's like the, what did he say to the thugs that were at Porkfest? He's like, bow to me. So you got to get Mark being sarcastic, being a tyrant. And I think that's the meme. But it's not yeah. the actual words on it. It's not this. This is not a, well, I, it's, this is not really a meme. No, so see, that, that's the thing. There are some it's people a, a, that a, say a, that a, any picture with, with words. words on it is a meme. Because there's the websites like Meme Generator and something else that uh, you take a picture, you put some words on it, and they're like, here's a meme. Yep. 
Jessica also got real serious. Dominate Mother Nature. She can take it. Uh, I guess this is what Steve Clymer, the ultimate outdoors enthusiast. Is that a person? Uh, probably. I'm guessing that's a quote from some guy named Steve, Steve Clymer. Clymer. Oh, let me Google this real quick and see what happens. Yeah. So you you know there there's an easier way to do that. Could I have just uh, right clicked on it? And on the right click in the drop down menu, there's a thing that says search Google. All right. Looks like Steve Clymer is an actual person. Okay, so anyways, the voting. And where's my uh, where is my drum roll? We, we've got to tabulate the votes here. My vote goes to Joe with the not a bike. Yes. Okay, so Joe, congratulations! You've won this month's caption. This you get 100 BSR points to spend as you will. Woo! -hoo! Don't use them all in one place, but uh, the minimum purchase amount for anything is 150,000 BSR <laughs> points. <laughs> Actually, I don't have anything yet. Uh, the goal one day, of course, is to I don't know, have some T-shirts or some coffee mugs or something. And every, oh, speaking ev ev of everyone who's accumulated re points, remind could... me to tell you something after the show about T-shirts. Okay, cool. All right, so. Daryl, what the hell is up with this picture? Why are you trekking up this mountain looking all stoic with a bike slung over your back? What was Pat talking about? At some triathlon or something? Yeah, so I did a triathlon, the Give Peace a Try. It was the 10th annual that happened a couple of weeks ago in Surrey at Surrey Lake or Surrey Mountain Lake Resort something park thing. So it... it Technically, it was a mini triathlon. Uh, uh, what does that mean? So how many miles total? 11 and a quarter. So there was a quarter mile swim. There was an eight mile bike ride and then a three mile run. Or actually, technically, it was a 3.1 mile run, but just say three because, you know, like tenths of miles. Mm -hmm. uh, so the thing started and... Because I've got bad knees, I was more concerned about the running and the biking than the swimming. Because so you, I was like, eh, I used to be a good swimmer. So like, I, I'm just going to focus on the running and the biking. You didn't do any swimming. Totally forgot. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, crap. This thing's in like two days. Uh, that is so lame. Uh, I, I, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Uh <laughs> Turns out, yeah, not not so fine. So, well, uh, well, how many miles is the swim again? I'm quarter sorry. mile, quarter mile. Okay, and I'm thinking, oh, that's not that far. Yeah, it doesn't seem that far until you start swimming. Do they have safety people out there with vests and stuff? Uh, there were safety people out there in kayaks. Did so, you? like, if you needed to hold on to a kayak, you could. Oh, let 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 me explain. Okay, let okay. me explain. So, I'm feeling good, right? And start swimming, get about a minute, two minutes into it, my right arm, I don't know if I like stretched a muscle or pulled something, but my right arm started hurting and my shoulder was hurting. I was like, all right, all right. Ah, it's easier to keep your head above water if you're on your back. Hold on. Diabetes. There's your problem. No, it's not diabetes. So I flip over to my back. And start doing like a backstroke sort of thing without really using my arms because my arm was hurting. Mm -hmm. And so basically it's me laying on my back, kicking my legs. And start getting tired. And about, I, I would say at least half a dozen times I was thinking of quitting. But I'm like, no, can't, I can't, I can't, I've got to keep going, got to keep going. So I rest on some of the kayaks. So luckily they were there. And Otherwise, you would have drowned? Probably. <laughs> so then, you know, I, I notice people are passing me. I'm like, I don't care. Like, I, I'm just, I, I'm going to, I'm going to finish and like, you know, be good. So, oh, so let, let me uh, like back up here for a second. The way the triathlon works is they have different waves of starts. Mm -hmm. So there's the initial start. That happened right at 9 o'clock, where it was the 20 to 29-year-olds. And then four minutes later, the 30-somethings. Four minutes after that, the 40-somethings. Four minutes after is that, this, is this so all the, the people over 50. 
And then four minutes after that was everybody under 19 or anybody that was doing a relay. Now, is that so that all the old guys aren't getting run over or is it? Is it no, it's because you don't have all 200 people starting at the no, same time. No, 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 I, I understand. If you, but if you're going to stagger it, I mean, would you, you... The old guys might have a tendency to get run over by all the young guys, and they're, in, they're, in, they're of course, are in the way. And then it's another thing. They might also be made to feel bad, getting, getting passed every second by all the young guys. You know what I'm talking about? Well, some of the people... If you look at the final times, there were people that were 40 that finished, like the third person that finished started i think in the third wave so he so, was a, so he was a real ass kicker right so it has nothing to do with we don't want people passing each other well i mean it's what? so that not everybody's starting at the same time because you get 200 people yeah, why don't starting do- at the same time in a lake something is probably going to wind up happening yeah why so don't they just take tw- why don't they just take 20 people from the just grab 20 people all right you're a Grab another twenty year B. They actually had this because it's by easier. Age. It it's just easier instead they could, of they could do by last drawing. names. All right, let me get all the A's, B's, and C's in group one. I'm just saying, it's easier. Okay, so just you easier. were in, so you were in the second group. I, I was in the second wave because you're in, you're a middle aged old man. Yeah. So uh, start and I, I'm swimming and you know backstroking and. Right after I get to the buoy that's the turnaround buoy, uh-huh. I grab onto one of the kayaks because I'm you know, getting tired, and then my leg starts to cramp. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm going to drown. Like, you know, let, let me just hold on to this for a little bit. And so then I start swimming again. And Quarter mile is not, well, I mean, it's a lot longer than some people would think. Right. Uh, and again, because like right away my shoulder started hurting, I couldn't swim regular. Now let me ask you, what kind of swim did you start off doing? Were you doing a friggin' California roll, or were you? What the hell's California? It's roll? the uh, the the the, the, the Olympic swim, and whatever that's called. The, the regular like both hands. Yeah. Over, yeah. That's what you were doing. I would have just done breaststroke all, all the way across, just frog stroke all the way across the uh, the lake. And of course, you you said you did. Uh, get on your back and you can float. I take right. It. Some people yeah. just sink like rocks. They don't know how to. No, like as long as you keep a leg moving, then you're mm-hmm. fine. So anyway, uh, start swimming again and then get to another kayak. Hold on to it for a couple minutes, and for some reason, I decide to let my feet dangle while I'm holding on to it. And you touch the ground. And I touch the bottle. Ugh. You do not know what sweet <laughs> relief that was. Because then, like, what pops into my mind is, you're not going to drown. Like, you can touch the bottom, you're not going to drown. So I started walking a little bit. Oh. Instead of holding on kayak, I want to keep moving forward. You cheated. No, that's not cheating. Okay. So I, I'm moving forward. Like, okay, I can touch the bottom. I'm I know I'm not gonna drown, so I start going and then like I can't You're wrong. I, I, I can't touch and so I like doggy paddled for a little bit and kinda, backstroke a little kinda bit. What kind of bottom was it? Was it all soggy or was it like hard bottom? It was mud. Ugh. Ugh. What? Well, I grew up in the swamps and I just don't it really is ugh. and you, you grew up in the swamps too, where you just got these no. m- Nasty, muddy bottoms, and it just could be turtles in there with with fangs. Could be snakes. Could be roots. Could be old yeah, broken could bottles. Be anything, but yeah. No, so like then, like after I knew that I could touch the bottom, I was fought Like I was at ease, knowing I'm not going to drown. Yeah. And so I was the last person to get out of the water. <laughs> like all the old mother passed me. Whatever. Like. Uh, I'm not dead. I, I'm going to be able to finish. Uh, so, uh-huh. so, uh, <laughs> so next time you're going to practice the swim, huh? Is there an area where where could you practice the swim? I guess you got the. There's a bunch of lakes around Keene. Uh, there's one in Swansea that I know of. Most of them are nasty. There's one in Swansea. There's Surrey. There's Goose Pond. Okay. Yeah. There's places to practice. So you're going to practice next time. 
Uh, do you, I, do you need someone? I, I I do not plan on there being a next time, but what? if there is, I, I will practice. I created this picture to motivate you to do this again. If there is a next time, I will practice the swim. Daryl Armstrong for president two sixteen. So, um, okay, so all right, you, you got so, out. Now you now you now you're doing the the meat and potatoes of the because this whole this whole event was a tragedy. <laughs> it's a whole train wreck for you. So. Then I jog up into the transition area yeah. and kind of dry my feet off a little bit, put my socks on, put my shoes on, put my bike helmet on. I had these little uh, energy tablet sort of things to give, you know, like a little bit of nutrients, swig some water, grab the bike, jog out of the transition area, get on the bike, start pedaling, get maybe a tenth of a mile Turn, you know, the road turns, starts going up a hill. Start pedaling up the hill, and for some weird reason, the bike I have, the gears won't change, so I'm stuck in whatever gear it's in, mm-hmm. and having trouble getting up the hill, so I just like pushed out on the pedal real hard. The tire popped the. <laughs> <laughs> that is so lame. <laughs> so I didn't realize, I'm just. Yeah, you know, like the pedal's not really doing anything, and I'm like, "What the hell? Did the wait, 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 chain wait. fall off? What the fuck happened?" Wait, wait, the tire came off the rim, or the whole rim came off of the bike, and it's just the spokes, like the 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 axle came out of the socket, out of came, the joint, came out of the little back wheel or front wheel. Back. Okay, so it's still the chain is still hooked up to it. Yeah, it's just no longer seated. Right. Okay. So, I. Jog back down to like near the transition area, and I'm like yelling, like, "Does anybody have some tools? My tire just fell off." And there was some guy that I think was one of the organizers or something. He was like, "Well, I know there's tools in the van, but it's out on the road." And this kid that was maybe like 13 was like, "I've got this little tool, like you know, that might be able to do something." And I was, you can try. Uh, he was able to get the tire back on. All right, awesome. So start pedaling up the hill again. Same thing, having problem, push down on the pedal. And again, it just like grinds, not doing anything, pedal's not going. And I look, and the tire is bent. So <laughs> you, you know how the, like... The rim. Right, the the rim. So, like, if you put a pizza from Walmart that has the little uh, cardboard thing, if you put that in the oven with the cardboard, the pizza will fold on the sides. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's what my tire looks like. So, it, it's just... So, I yell for the guy, and he was like, did it fall off again? I was like, no, it's bent. How did it get bent? I don't know. When you felt when you when it came off the first time, you, s- you slammed into the concrete, and I don't know. It, the tube is the tube is still on there, right? The whole the, the, everything's still on the frame of the rim. I'm gonna have to take a look at this bike. Yeah. So uh, now I'm curious. Yeah. So I, I start like dragging the bike back to the transition area, thinking like I can't finish i don't have a bike i can't finish i'm not going to drag this miles uh what what the i I guess i've got to like quit i i've got a dnf and as i'm i don't know maybe a hundred yards from the transition area Mm -hmm. dude comes running over with a bike and says 83 is letting you borrow hers oh cool that she so she she opted out she did not finish the race she, oh, she had done. already finished <laughs> the bike part. She was on the 5K. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I. Why the hell are you laughing? Uh, because you got donated a bike from someone who had already finished the whole race. All right, no, go. not the whole race. She was on. She was starting the 5K. Okay. So, uh, I, I get on the bike, and he's like, you know, check it out. Make sure that it's. The right size. You're not gonna have to like raise the seat or anything. You know, do that now if you need to. So I got on and no, it's good. You know, like perfect height, everything. The gears worked too, so that was good. Cool. Uh, so start pedaling, get around to the hill, and decide. You know what? I 
don't want to like bike up, so I got off and just pushed it to the top of that hill and then got on. Uh, and there, there were like two hills where I had to get off and push just a little to get up to the top of the hill. But there's some hills around here. Wound up finishing the bike part, and then did the five k. And I jogged a little bit of it, and then I was oh, like, I, I've got to just walk for a bit. And wound up walking most of the 5K. And then if you've ever been to the Surrey Lake, you know that when you start going down into the area, like it's literally downhill. Mm -hmm. So I start jogging downhill and then I get almost to the bottom of the hill and I'm all right, I'm just going to walk for just a bit. And walk maybe, I don't know, 100 yards. And then I see the finish line and hear everybody from my gym down there cheering for me. So I just, like, took off jogging the rest of the way. And wound up finishing. My time was somewhere around the two-and-a-half-hour mark. Uh, I don't know my official finish time because for some weird reason because you wrote it out of your mind that you don't have to worry about no re- remembering it no like i i are they look sto- are they stopped the clock because they thought everyone was done no they oh knew hey there's another guy wasn't done <laughs> no so uh somebody from my gym has a picture of me crossing with the time behind me mm-hmm. but i've not seen that picture yet oh, okay and the times that are posted online there's like three people whose final time is missing and I'm one of them. And everybody else whose time is missing, they were somewhere in like the one and a half hour range, like right in the middle of everybody. Uh, so I think it was two hours and 32 minutes, but I'm not entirely positive. Well, they need to fire that scorekeeper then. No, nah, so it wasn't a scorekeeper. Uh, we had these little RFID things that went around our they're ankle. Tra- they're tracking you? No, there, there were certain things where like after the swim... You had to run between these cones, and you ran over this little thing. And when you ran over that is when it sent the little signal over to a computer. When you left the transition area to start the biking, when you got done with the biking, you had to go over So the instead thing. of having some scorekeeper indicating every time a number runs by, right? it's all... It, it's all computerized. And something happened with the spreadsheet to where there were we have a the few technology. people's times that some of the times didn't get recorded properly. Gotcha. Uh, So all I know is the swim was 37 minutes and 7 seconds. The transition time was like a minute 14. My bike was 1 minute and 7, or 1 hour and 7 minutes. About 10 of that was bike difficulties. Mm -hmm. And then the next transition time was like a minute... And I don't know the official time on the run, but I'm thinking it was like 50 minutes. Did you vomit? I did not. That's good. Uh, I did have to stop and piss during the 5K. (laughs) Well, at least it wasn't another thing. Yeah. So why don't you want to do this again, Daryl? You know... (laughs) It was a lot more mentally taxing than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, like I've done physical stuff before and like never, none of it has ever really been that mentally taxing.